What's good, everybody? It's your brother, Mad Black, the most dangerous, most toxic black man on the internet. And I'm black up in your face again with some more pro black commentary. So, this video is a little sad, but it goes along with it's a real example of what I talked about in my video where I talked about real relationships and you know what you really should be looking for in a mate and the trials and tribulations you can go go through uh with your mate and it it refers to this this couple that I was actually a fan of on YouTube called Holly and S dot so they're a black couple young black couple they used to do a lot of reaction videos uh to either music uh comedy I think they did like a few like reactions to like different skits that other YouTubers do. But very recently, a month ago, uh, the brother on the channel S Dot he passed away, and he passed away because he had uh, a tear in his aorta. And I saw the video where he had, they announced it, and he said he was going to go to the hospital, and they had to have he had to have two surgeries like back to back. To see if they could uh, repair the aorta, but he, he later passed away uh, after having the surgery. So real sad to see that. And uh, and the sister Holly, she really uh, recently did a video on their channel just talking about you know all that she's been going through since the brother passed away because they obviously they haven't been doing videos for like a month. But when I saw it, it it just kind of went along with what I was talking about because you know that this is the real life type situations I, I, I was talking about that a person can go through within a relationship and are you going to have someone that stands by your side now Holly was with this man all the way through this and they weren't married yet they were still just dating but you know they obviously they had been together for a long time and they had a really good relationship that's why I liked watching them they're funny uh they used to have like little back and forth, like, you know, they would argue back and forth, but it was, it was more playful. You know what I mean? Like when they were reacting to certain videos or certain types of commentary, it was just, it was just funny. And, you know, they're one of the black couples that I did watch on YouTube and I, I appreciate them a lot. And, and I was really sad to hear that the brother S dot passed away. You know, I, I don't, don't like seeing that, especially for someone that's so young to have to go through that. And, because usually uh, that condition is something that happens to men when they get older. So a lot of men might go through this when they're in their 60s or maybe their 70s. But for a young man like this to have a tear in his aorta, and once once there's a small tear, because the blood is pumping through there, it just causes the, the tear to increase. So really it's like a matter of time before something bad happens. You know what I mean? That's why they try to get in there and repair it. But, you know... The aorta is a very obviously one of the, the major blood vessel. So that's if that gets torn or severed or, or something happens to it, you know, there's not a lot they can do to save you. And it's just it's just real sad to see that because he was a <laughs> like I said, the brother was funny. He always had a great smile on his face. And like I said, just to see those two together, I could tell how much they loved each other. And I was really sad to see the sister Holly. And you can obviously see she's upset and hurt by the fact that he passed away, you know, because they were together for a long time. And to not, you know, be so young and for a tragedy like that to happen and their future is not progress any further than this, it's just sad to see. And to find love like that and someone who's with you and supportive like that and someone that you get along with, that's always, that's not easy to find. But, you know, once you find that 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 right person, and you, you both mesh, you like the same things, or you you know, you have something in common. It's it's great to find that. It's great to have that love. So while I'm very sorry for her, I, I do feel that she was fortunate to at least find someone like that that she could be with that you know that was in you know that that meshed well with her and he was a good mate for her. And I I'm sad to see him go. And I wish her nothing but the best in the future. I hope that, you know good things come to her later on, okay, and I, I'm sorry for that brother, Esta. I'm sorry for his actual family that uh, had to let him go like that, and he, he passed away, um, 
But yeah, I mean that that these are like the real life situations that I, I was talking about. And like when I saw the story, I was like, you know, that that could have easily been me and my wife last year. You know, I didn't know uh why I was getting all those tests for the the benign tumor that was in my chest. You know, they didn't know what it was benign at first. And they even at first they thought I had cancer. I had to keep going back and forth to an oncologist and getting all these tests and scans and whatnot. So that could have easily, I could have been in the same situation because, like I said, this thing was right, hovering right over my heart. And that's why they decided to operate because they weren't sure if it was going to continue growing and interfere with my heart and its function. So, you know, I, I think about that. I've been thinking about that a lot since it happened, just my own mortality and, you know, what what it would be to have to leave my family behind. Now, obviously, I guess I wouldn't know, but. I wouldn't want them to be here without me. You know, I want to be here as, as long as I can and see my daughter grow up and, you know, grow old. My wife, we always joked about being old people together. So <laughs> I still want to see that happen of us talking mess on the porch at people walking by the house. So, you know, it's very important to have that type of love and that type of relationship. So, and always cherish it while it's here because you never know what can happen. Like I said, that just a few months ago, these, these two were doing videos and then they made the announcement on their channel that he was sick and had to go get surgery and then he's not here anymore. You know what I'm saying? So cherish those moments as much as you can. Think about the things that are truly important going on in your life and not the ridiculous back and forth that you see on social media about relationships and people acting goofy in relationships and not figuring things out for themselves and celebrity gossip and whatnot. Uh, don't get so focused on that. Think about what's really going on in your real life. That's why I don't really get too much, not really offended by some of the nonsense that like if someone comes to my page and talks mess about me personally, it's hard for me to get offended by someone I don't know. But also, you know, when you live a real life, I'm more concerned about what's going on in my, in my house. Not what some idiot who I don't know who doesn't even show their face has to say about me. That's why it doesn't matter when they do. I just block them, right? So, like I said, just think about what's really going on in your life and in the real world. And always appreciate that time that you do have because you never know when it's going to be over. Anyway, Mad Black. And I will be back with my foot on these devil's back. And, and rest in peace to Brother S. Dot. And once again, I'm very sorry for Sister Holly having to lose this brother. Anyway, you guys take care and let me know how you feel about it in the comments section. Peace.